Today I'm going to be trying to revive the E28. Uh, the battery is completely dead right now and I'm going to be uh, jump starting it with this new battery pack that I just picked up uh, on Amazon. This is called the DB Power 500 amp uh, battery power kit, basically. It is a 10,800 mAh capacity pack and peak current of 500 amps. Here is what the packaging looks like. Now the packaging that this thing comes in is beautiful. It's like this nice matte finished box uh, with some like glossy images on here. Uh, it was packaged really beautifully. Um, it's kind of trivial when it comes to does the product work or not. Um, that's all that really matters, but if you're into products, then If you're into products, then uh, you would also appreciate the packaging. It just seems that everybody is trying to make uh, beautiful packaging these days um, that kind of imitates what Apple has done with the iPhone. So this is the power brick. It kind of fits in the palm of your hand, much like my iPhone here. Now what's amazing about technology these days is that you can just buy something that fits in the palm of your hand. This thing is tiny. You can take it on the road with you and use it, uh, the USB outputs here to charge various devices, uh, including your phone if you needed extra power or if you're traveling. Um, this particular battery pack, uh, which I will link below, I bought on Amazon and this one comes with this attachment for your battery. Uh, so you're able to just plug this plug here into the battery pack, connect these to the battery terminals, and in theory, jumpstart your car. If you can see right here, there's a little rubber trap door that we just open up, and then we'll plug in our cables. Now this is, uh, these are ready to go. I can plug this onto my battery terminals and try to jumpstart my car. So, uh, my E28 is waiting. My white 1984 5 Series is in the garage. The battery is completely dead. I have not started the car. I've been very bad. Uh, I have not started the car since maybe January or February, like deep winter. Also, I should mention the instructions do specify that you need to charge this fully before attempting to jumpstart your car. Now, unlike the E30, the battery's located in the front under the hood on the E28, so I'll have to shimmy myself in here. Sorry about the poor lighting. And I'll connect our battery pack. The red goes to the positive, and the black goes to the negative terminal. All right, since the LED indicator is flashing here, it's flashing red and green, we want that to be green, so there's a boost button I have to hold here on the side. Okay, looks like that is connected. So I took the car out for a little spin, it's first one in many months. Um, I went to the gas station, filled it up with fresh gasoline, and when I went to start the car again, it was dead. So thankfully I took this with me, um, I connected it to the battery terminals again, and jump started the car and it was fine. Um, so that battery is pretty dead, I think I'm going to have to take it out, get it tested, um, get it fully charged, 
uh, instead of relying on like the alternator to do that for for uh, the, the charge of the battery. You don't want to do that. Um, so my impressions of this DB power power supply uh, and it's you know charging cables for a car um, so far it's pretty good. Uh, I will say that it took me about three or four times of uh, resetting this small switch here on on the jumper cables themselves. Um, I had to do it maybe three or four times before it would make like a solid connection and you could hear the car uh, turning over. Um, so I'm not sure if that's just like a little bit of a learning curve that I have to get used to or if there's some sort of like fundamental flaw in this product where every time you make an attempt to start the car and it doesn't work, you have to go back outside, um, sort of click this button here until the LED turns green, then go back inside the car, try to start it. Overall though, I mean, this thing's pretty awesome. I gotta say, uh, if you remember the jump packs that used to be like this big and it was like a lunchbox you carry with you, those things were enormous. Uh, they're very expensive. They're I think they're around 150 to like $250, depending on uh, what brand you buy. Uh, that could be wrong, that could be a little cheaper nowadays. But this, I believe was, I think I paid something like $30, $35 uh, for this jump pack. And what's nice is that it's really compact, uh, doesn't take up much space. I could probably just keep this little guy with me um, tucked away into the trunk of the E28. Uh, if we go on a road trip or, um, you know, take the car for a ride to car shows or drive around. It's always a good idea to have, you know, some sort of contingency plan like this battery pack and it doesn't take up very much space. Um, so I will put a link for this in the description below. Anyone who clicks a link and uh, makes a purchase, uh, get a small percentage of that through an affiliate link on Amazon, uh, which helps support this channel. Um, that being said, this is not a sponsored post. Um, I have no affiliation with DB Power or any of these um, Chinese-made uh, manufacturers. Uh, I was not sent this or anything. Um, this is completely my own opinions on the product. Okay, finally, um, in the description below, also I have a link to my new website, Wagon Art. Um, you can pronounce it uh, Wagen Art, I guess, if you want to put a little German on it, um, but wagonart.com. This is the new detailing company that I'm launching, or I'm attempting to launch. Uh, we're ready to go. I'm gonna put a, a launch video up soon and link everything to a Kickstarter project. And the goal of the Kickstarter is to launch like the initial funds, uh, which is a few thousand dollars for each product, uh, to launch a product line. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you're interested uh, in the link below, um, check out the website. And uh, if, you're, if you want to get notified for when the launch actually happens, um, go ahead and sign up for the email list. Uh, and there's never any spam, uh, which I can promise you. Uh, just updates related to this side project. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.